Okay, just uh, an overview uh, to explain how the setups uh, run. Today I'm going to just put the uh, digital multimeter on the voltage from the battery in, uh, showing you um, the voltage that's going into the ZBS uh, driver. Um, then there's a digital multimeter showing the voltage AC output from the bifiler on L4 and a probe uh, not touching anything. Hopefully we can pick up something. Uh, it's pretty difficult because of the, uh, the waves and the frequency. Uh, on this setup it shows you you've got L1 uh, from the ZBS into the L2 uh, which is connected to um, I'm calling it L5 instead of the top load I've got a, a copper wire uh, copper tubing instead let's see how that works uh, to a spark gap and then down to earth At some point I'll put a I'll put a bulb in here as well so we can take some of the power uh, coming back um, but that's not today on L3 which is inside uh, L2 which you can't see um, I've got an LED driver before there was it was uh, uh, yeah powering uh, incandescent bulb so today I'm just going to see if I can put a, a LED driver on to show that uh, we're getting some AC input um, basically the next step will be at some point when I can uh, buy an AC to DC uh, converter and then see if we can have 24 volts uh, back in uh, to the ZBS. Um, of course I have some capacitors here that can uh, load the DC um, so they can release uh, slower than uh, what we're putting in. So that's where we are. Um, I've got a, yeah, not very clear, but um, this is it uh, at the moment uh, before, before anything. Um, so what I'll show you is we're using a Picascope 2000 series. The probe is just here. Um, it's not directly connected, so it's in the field. Um, so we have digital multimeter here which will uh, give me um, the value of the DC voltage coming from the battery um, to the ZBS driver. This is another external battery powering the fan, just keep it cool, that's not in the drawing. So go from the ZBS to L1, uh, I've moved it from the mid uh, section over to this end. Um, Thinking about Don Smith um, and a lot of what he was doing, um, I could see from a lot of his uh, dipole setups that he had it um, when he came closer to the midpoint, uh, the powers lessened. Um, so it was before the midpoint. So I'm going to give it a try and see what uh, results it gives us. Um, this is the Bifiler L5. Uh, and we have a probe in, uh, sorry, a digital multimeter in, which is here. That's going to uh, show us what the voltage is AC coming out from the bifiler. So um, I'll switch you on and see what it gives us. Um, so where are we? We are ready and set. Okay, sorry about that. If you got blinded, that's the LED going off. We've got 19 volts going into the ZVS. Um, see what we have coming out here on the DC side. Yeah, nothing on the bifiler. Not really. Um, on the amps we have on the DC DC amp side we have 10.4 on the AC we have 5.6 amps output um, which is quite good 
if I check on the DC on the input um, no we can't do that right now but anyway this is the shot of what's happening um, from from the top load if we can see on the bottom there we have frequency at right about 13 kilohertz um, on the frequency uh, let's see if we can Okay, so AC of about 15 volts on the output. I don't know if you can see that, it's a bit unclear here. You can see we can still, like as before, we've got uh, enough power through the top load. So the idea will be if we can have some kind of, there we go, we get the spark gap going. Okay, so now we've got a spark, you can see that, and we have a bit of interference, so we have 18, 25, okay, now we're back, so we have on the amps, we have still 9.6 out, um, what I'm going to do here, have an unstable spark of course that's the fantastic uh, part of filming nothing really works when you want it to okay so we're stable again um, let's see what we have here if we take this off the top load yeah I can't see there's a, a difference there but let me see what the amps in there's something wrong there in AC 1.6 okay I think we need to stop this because it's quite warm so um, yeah I didn't see any difference with moving the induction uh, coil over here um, the amperage was higher on the output um, we'll have to do some more tests uh, yeah so basically that's where we're at um, as you can see we could have uh, power coming off here and uh, yeah and of course power coming off uh, from the top load and um, basically uh, I can put a bulb in here and that will also light um, but that's yeah that's what we've got at the moment 
quite a lot of amperage. You just need the uh, some form of uh, getting the voltage up uh, from this by filer. Because if we can, if we can take this uh, AC and uh, rectify it, um, not just with a normal rectifier, it just doesn't seem to um, want to do it very well. Um, Yeah, so then we can maybe put instead of this have uh, capacitors. Um, I'm making these films because it helps me um, also look at what I've got, what I'm doing, and um, gives me ideas while I'm filming. Um, so yeah, so that's where we are at the moment. You got a screenshot. You had uh, idea of the amperage coming out. Um, and the voltage going in so that's it for now thanks